Need JavaScript to solve XYZ for a Kepler? I have a Python program that I use to calculate the XYZ positions of a point in a Kepler orbit. HTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash stesla slash pyastronomy slash blob slash master slash src slash piazel slash azel slash keplerorbit.py. It takes the following values to define the orbit. Semi-major axis. Orbit period. Eccentricity. Longitude of the ascending node. Inclination. Longitude of the pericenter. I can then get a position by supplying a time value. The solution to my problem would be a JavaScript function that takes the same values as the Python one above, and if given a time returns an x, y, z. I have not been able to find such a script, if one exists that could be pointed out to me that would solve my problem. There is one that comes close. HTTPS colon slash slash github.com path colon slash lizard dash asana slash orb.js slash blob slash master slash src slash kepler.js, but this takes different values to calculate the orbit, gm, semi underscore major underscore axis eccentricity inclination longitude underscore of underscore ascending underscore node argument underscore of underscore periapsis time underscore of underscore periapsis it will then give an xyz position if supplied with a time however i only have the values that i give to the python script above i can see how it might be possible with minor modifications that org js might be tweaked to perform as kepler orbit.py but i am neither a javascript programmer or a mathematician any help really appreciated, thanks. Seeing that you already have the orbital period, you can use the mean anomaly directly to calculate the time parameter. This should work if you set time underscore of underscore periopsis to zero, as you have all the other required parameters. GM is one since your Python program assumes a unit mass system. Combine everything to a wrapper function, containing nothing but parameter translation and a call to the Kepler, JS function, Kepler, JS already has a method of calculating mean anomaly, so you don't need to port any code. 